know if you can see this fluoro image very well, but on this fluoroscopic image, this level is fractured where you see that little needle on the bottom and the vertebrae have slid forward. So that's called a, a lytic, meaning he had fractures as a young guy. He had pain in his back since he was a teenager. He's now 64. He's always had back pain. It's very common when we see these people, they've had back pain their whole lives because they think it's normal because this happens when they're young, sometimes age eight. The vertebrae slides off the tailbone, which you can kind of see how L5, the lumbar fiber is slid forward off the sacrum because the joints are fractured off in the back, back there. The disc above it here at lumbar four five looks pretty reasonably healthy. But if you notice the one above that at L3-4, he has pain related to that disc also. So what we're going to do, because the, the set joints are normal at the top two, is we're gonna do artificial disc replacements there. He's actually a friend of mine. We were surfing in the Arctic Ocean together north of Iceland. So he wants to keep mobility of his spine and reduce pain. So I'm not gonna fuse the entire spine. I want to maintain motion by placing artificial discs. So I'll place an artificial disc at lumbar three, four, lumbar four, five, and this bottom one, because the joints are broken, we have to fuse that. This is a hybrid, a combination fusion with disc replacement. She's monitoring his lumbar five nerves with motor evoke potential monitoring the entire time, continuous monitoring. She's telling me if I'm overstretching any nerves, but in fact, his signals have improved on the left where he was weaker. So they're getting better. So this is a good sign that I'm not over distracting or stretching the nerves. So here we have the bone graph we're gonna insert. We've shaved it to be a little more lordotic to give the angle. And we place the center, which is open with the bone graft, which is BMP, which is bone morphogenic protein. This is the human protein that makes bone grow. Mixed with a little allograft bone and some demineralized bone matrix. We'll pack that in. And this will stimulate the patient's own bone to grow right through this implant and right up into the both vertebrae to, pro to provide a fusion. Vascular surgery does our exposures because what's in the very front of the spine are the blood vessels. We have Dr. Raj Rao here, who's one of our premier vascular surgeons who do these exposures, he and his uh, associate. And they've been doing this for 30 years and uh, they expose the spines, they have thousands of approaches. So they're able to move the aorta, the iliac arteries, the vena cava, the common iliac veins out of the way because they sit right in front of the spine. I need those out of the way to fix the discs. So they're instrumental. ultra-high molecular weight polyethylene. You'll notice in here there's a small little metal bead. That's so you can localize it on x-ray because plastic is clear on x-ray. Slides in here. 
It'll slide down the rail. We will slide it into the implant and it will lock in with the final pusher. Screw it down. This opens the disc space as the core goes in. You can watch it on fluoro, shoot coming. Alright, do live now. You can see it opening up. There we are, thank you. Now we'll lock the core into place. Shoot there. Floral now. And if you notice, you'll see the little bead on the front. That's exactly where it should be on the little round bead on the lower piece of black milky metal on the front edge. That indicates that the core is snapped into place and in the correct location. And you always visually inspect it. Allison, how do we look there? The folly is seated to the disc, correct? Okay, so if uh, we're done with the disc replacements and the fusion, remember we have two artificial discs and a fusion on the bottom. That's a hybrid. You remember the reason we had to fuse the bottom one here and there is because the patient had a lytic fracture. I know that lytic means fracture of the pars, which is the neck, the neck of the facet joint. So both facet joints were broken off. You need facet joints to hold an artificial disc, so an artificial disc would not be appropriate at that bottom level. So that had to be fused. We will take the remaining fractured bone off through his back, stabilize him with some screws to lock that together. That's his main pain generator. And then the artificial discs are finished and they're in a good position on front view and on side view. So he'll be very happy with this construct. Mm -hmm.